Right, this is the second Java tutorial, and in this tutorial I'll be talking about data types and arithmetic. Right, so let's get started. Um, first, you're going to need to want to get a blank class up and running. Right, so if you did the previous tutorial, you should have an S main class or whatever you decided to call it. Um, so yeah, just pick up and start off with that. Right, so let's talk about these data types. The first data type you've got is, well, let's talk about these first few here actually. These all hold numbers, as you can see here. And the long at the bottom can hold a very big number. That's the number it can hold. It can't hold anything over that or is it all thrown out. Um, let's just quickly try that out, see how that turns out. Long name equals. I'm going to have to remove these. And let's just change this 7 to a 8. So that's 1 over its limit. And we'll build. Right, so too large. So as you can see, the long um, data type cannot hold a value over the listed number here. I'm not even going to attempt to read that out. And just some pointless. Oh, also, like a numpty, I forgot my semicolon. Right, let's try that again. There we go. Now I've only got one error. Uh, error. Right. Um, S main on line five, which is this line here. Integer number too large. So it's an integer, which is a number. It's too large for the data type long. So most people just stick with using the integer, like the int value type, which is a 32-bit type and can hold quite high numbers, 2.1 million, I think that is. Um, but I do recommend you use the smallest possible just to avoid using unneeded um, memory and etc. Right, so your first one is 8 bit, which is a byte. Your second is a short, and that's a 16 bit. The next one, integer, int, which is a 32 bit type. And your next one is a long, and that's a 64 bit type. And yeah, right, so they can hold quite heavy numbers, just not too heavy. Right, so try to stick with the smallest one possible and just convert. I'll show you how to convert a, ver um, a data type to another data type later on that are of the same sort of type. Right, next you've got float, which is 32 bit, and a double. A double can hold decimal values, sort of like, I'll show you here quickly, double, hmm, like currency values and stuff like 4. Point, well, 5.4. Or 4.5. You gotta go in the way. Right, so that'll compile fine. Or not. So I forgot to give it a name. Name equals. And there we go. Pressing the key to continue. Does nothing. Alright, um, but if I was to change this double to an integer, it goes and kicks me out an error because it's going to lose a bit of its data because integers can't hold decimal values. But what I can do is. I can store a double value, double value equals 4.5, and then I can say integer value equals value, but, and this is how you convert, and I'm going to treat this as an integer. System.out.print line new, and we're going to say show me. And then we're going to say, oops, I forgot to get this in name, value 2. And we're just going to say here, print out value 2. I'm going to compile that. And we'll see there, 4. So we can use a, we can value, um, define a value as a double, but then treat it as an integer later on, treating it like this, um, which will lose the decimal, uh, the value after the decimal point. Right, so what else we got here? We've got a boolean, which can only equal true or false. So we can say if boolean play dead, I suppose a good example, equals false. My player is not dead. Right, so now I can say if player dead, I don't need to have any equals true, but I can say equals true, but you don't need to by default. So you can just say that and that will mean, is it true? And then I can say, if it's true, 
then show me news that I want to hear. Your player is dead. And if it's not, then I say else system l the friend of new. Your player is not dead. So you can compile that. Run. Your player is not dead because it's false. Alright, we've changed it to true and compiled again because we changed the source code and run. Your player is dead. Oh no. Alright, um, because we're only using one single line of code to this if statement, you do not need um, any brackets. But if I was to print out two lines, I'll just duplicate this one and just say hello for this one. If we try and compile that, it will throw us an error. So that means we'll need brackets. 